Hi guys, Joey from Evolution and welcome to another analysis. Uh, cracking weekend of games again in the final round of Autumn Internationals. Um, but one man stood out for me with his evasion skills. I'm going to take a good look at the shoulder drops and the goose steps on show here in front of you from Mr. Colby. Uh, he was a last minute replacement for the South Africans on the wing and was absolutely electric. So we've got goose steps, shoulder drops and ducks and that's just the first ones we're going to have a closer look at that you can see on screen at the moment. Uh, if you take a close look through all of the play from the South African side, uh, it's a cracking win for Wales. Um, but actually, there's some superb play um, from the South Africans in terms of their phases of play and all of their forwards using the footwork to get control of the contact situation and manipulate space and be able to buy time for each other in that contact area. Um, and they were unfortunate not to get on the scoreboard right at the start here. Um, but the, the phase play is superb, especially when you've got a finisher like Colby uh, who comes into shot here. So we'll have a quick look at exactly what he's doing and what you can learn from the Evolution Evade and Excel program. What I love is this opening set. Uh, in particular, this little step here, um, if I just drag it back a little bit, um, where he's able to get control of the defender, but note where his head's at. Uh, really important, again, as we've said in previous analysis sessions, to have a look at your opposition man. So, so key, again, to get an idea of what the challenges are ahead of you. So his head's up, and he's looking to provide that defender some information. So what you're looking for next is going to be the goose step. It's a really simple movement here, just watching these feet and this foot in particular extend out in front and be able to give him a really clear um, window of opportunity, I guess is the best way of putting it, to buy time. So he's causing a pattern disrupt with that Welsh defender. So he's just going to flick it out, a little bit of an air step in, and that's bought him time. And it means the defender's gone behind. Now, at this point, again, you could say that he's uh, kind of used a bit of a hover again. We've seen this foot pattern again before with other guys we've analysed. But what he's looking for again, which is key, is that defender. And what are their shoulders doing? And he knows the space that he wants to take. So it's about standing up the man, standing up that defender, and being able to attack this space here. And he uses, yet again, his favorite, a shoulder drop. So we've seen this in a few other uh, demos recently, but just watch how his shoulders drop in at this point, and the defender's square on. So this shoulder's gonna drop down. He's gonna throw this foot down. It's gonna make it look like he's loading, and it's gonna mean that this defender is gonna fall this way so that he can actually step inside here. So he might have thought about taking this space with the previous defender, but actually he's going to control uh, this defender here and take what's really on offer. I guess the defender could have stayed and stepped, and I think he would have probably put the foot down and gone on the outside. As I said, he wanted to get to that space, but he's then been able to step in, and here it is again. Now he knows he's in trouble. At this point, um, he's thinking that this guy has got him bang to rights, Pretty close quarters here, but again, watch the feet get loaded using this shoulder drop. So the shoulder drop comes in, foot comes down again. This defender is going to overcommit to this side, and his eyes are firmly on his shoulders again. So really key aspect here again is looking at what that defender's shoulders are going to do, provide him some information, steps inside. Third defender, a little bit of a ski step, and we'll see it head on here. So a little bit of a pop-up in the air there. There's that goose. Look where his eyes are at again. So we're making sure that this man is actually going to be beaten. So it's about putting the hammer down. And we can actually look at the pace he's going to generate just in those first few yards. So, so key. Looking up the whole time. Shoulder drop in play. That's this here. Bang. Defender has been sold. The foot position's there. So he's loaded everything to be able to come on the inside of this defender. Defender comes across here, over commits, so Colby's able to go inside of him. Brilliant bit of footwork again, and able to uh, beat him on the inside, throw a second step here, shoulder drop again, beat two more, and then he's actually got into a duck step. So again, it's another one that we coach right at the end. There's lots of bits and pieces we work on within the Evolution of Aiden Excel program uh, to look at control and contact. And this one tends to be this close quarters, I'm in trouble, and now I've actually got a graft. Look at this power position. So he's in position here, driving his legs, and he's in and ducked below the two defenders as a small man. It means he's able to generate some power and keep control, buying time for support runners and be able to look after that ball, work on the ground, get it away. So 
another brilliant bit of evasion skill on show. Highly recommend checking out a few of his other videos, but uh, a great play from the South African winger.